Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Some few hours ago, we looked at some figures from Homa Bay County and Silvanus Osoros South Mugrango constituency. In Homa Bay County gubernatorial race, according to a latest opinion poll, Gladys Wanga seems to be on the lead there. Actually, she beats Evans Kidero. And then in Silvanus Osoro South Mugirango constituency, we, Silvanus Osoro comes second. He's actually being beaten by somebody by the name David Onyancha. Those are the latest figures as far as opinion poll from Mizani Africa is anything to go by. Those are the figures. So in this video, ladies and gentlemen, we are still in Nyanza. I want us to have a look at Kisi gubernatorial race. Mm. I want us to see who most definitely has a favorable opinion among residents there. That's what I want us to have a look. So if in case you've just bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Kenya. I have some homer. You will excuse me anyway. <clears throat> Gubernatorial race. Simba Arati. 53.4%. Sam Ongeri. 16.3%. Ezekiel Machogo. 14.5%. And if we go to senatorial race. Richard Onyonka. 52.1%. Okengo Nyambane, 27.3%. Duke Maiga, Duke Mainga, 11.2%. And then women representative, Don, Don, Donya Toto, 29.9%. Janet Ongera, 26.6%. Dolphin Buare, Dolphin, 23.6%. Those are the latest figures, opinion poll, released early today. And from these opinion polls, I know quite a number of you might just be interested in the gubernatorial seat. So that's what I want us to have a look to see what it portends for Simba Arati and any other person planning to contest eh, for Kisi gubernatorial seat come next year. And also a point to notice is that in the women representative, the, the incumbent Janet Ongera seems not to be performing well. So this is a wake-up call to Janet Ongera, maybe to up her games, hmm? let her up her games in this race. So let's have a look at that, or rather let's dissect the gubernatorial race. In the gubernatorial race, it seems to appear that Simba Arati is comfortably on the lead, 53.4%, followed in a distant second by Sam Ongeri, 16.3%. And these top two leaders are all angling for odium party tickets. Yes. So it just shows, ladies and gentlemen, that odium party Mm -hmm. Or rather, those who have declared interest to contest through ODM party in Kisi County seems to be having some favorable consideration among residents there. And I'm not trying to say that these are the factual results because opinion polls do change. Eh? Opinion polls do change. And nine months to, get to, the to the election, that's still very far even to predict who will eventually emerge the winner. But from these polls, we can just see roughly the feeling on the ground as things stand today. Because this opinion poll, I believe it was scientifically done across mm, the entire Kisi County. You know, for, we have been hearing some people saying that in Kisi, this is what is happening. But now this is the actual scientific opinion poll that has come from that area. And as far as gubernatorial race is concerned, then Simba Arati seems to be very comfortable on the lead, followed by Sam Ongeri, the current senator of Kisi. 
What does this mean, ladies and gentlemen? Looking at these polls, and then also earlier on we looked at South Mugirango constituency, where we are finding that Silvanus Osoro is actually trailing. In the event an election is done in Silvanus Osoro's constituency, Silvanus Osoro most definitely will go home. And then here again, we are seeing Simba Arati actually comfortably in the lead as far as gubernatorial seat is concerned. There is a pattern here, ladies and gentlemen, I'm seeing. It seems to appear, and then before I dwell into that, on the senatorial race also, you are see, also seeing Richard Onyonka comfortably in the lead. You know, Richard Onyonka some few days ago joined Raila Moludinga. Actually, he joined ODM. And then we are seeing him again here leading in these polls. So this only proves, ladies and gentlemen, that Kisi as a county, the Gusi Nation in Kisi County, seems to be aligning themselves largely to ODM party. And that's why we are seeing ODM candidates performing fairly well here. And then on Simba Arati, it seems to appear to me that sometimes... Kenyans want people with, well, Kenyans want some candidates or other leader, leaders who show some kind of bravery. Bra How can I put it? Brave leaders. Let me just call it brave leaders. You know, Simba Arati is one person who is not new to controversy. Some few months ago, Simba Arati and Silvanus Osoro squared it out eh, in some function somewhere. Eh, held uh, for, I think it was some burial ceremony for Joash Mangis, I think that or something like that. So it, it seems to appear that leaders in one way or the other, they want, or rather not leaders, the masses, they want people who are brave. And Simba Arati again is also one leader who has actually been challenging William Ruto directly without any fear or favor. So it seems to appear that it's not only in Kisi County, but across the country, residents or other the masses want leaders who are brave. And also we, we have also seen in Homa Bay County that Gladys Wanga is actually being viewed favorably if the opinion polls are anything to go by. And also Gladys Wanga comes out as a very brave leader, somebody who does not shy from controversy. Mm. So it seems to appear, ladies and gentlemen, that likely the masses tend to favor such kind of leaders, brave leaders. Let me just call it brave leaders. And what does this mean for William Ruto or any aspirant or any leader aligning themselves to William Ruto? I tend to believe that as a smart politician, you know, in Kenya, there is also the aspect of the party, the party factor. Looking at 2022 election, most definitely, the leaders who will be aligning themselves to Raila Molo Odinga, most definitely will be given a favorable consideration by the masses in Kisi County and also in Nyamira County. That's one thing I'm trying, I'm reading from this. And it's also, I'm also fully convinced that Raila's performance in 2017 election in Gusi Nation, in, in 2022 election, most definitely, Raila might perform far much better than he did in 2017 election. Because also, and I did insinuate that, Fred Matiangi also just actually confirmed his support for Raila Molodinga some few days ago. So it seems to appear that this time round, looking at things, Nyanza region might also vote as a block. And then before I forget that, about that, there is also a very close William Ruto ally in Korea, I think Korea West. Eh? And the figures there are also not very favorable to that member of parliament. And that's an analysis we'll do sometimes later. So ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. And if you are watching us for the very first time, and you are watching us outside Kenya, Drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Drop a comment. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here by constantly giving our videos likes, constantly dropping your comments. God bless you. 
God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana Yesu.